These days, it seems everyone is trying to understand millennials, even millennials themselves. Millennials are actually a complicated concept, and they're real people, so don't get too caught up in the Snapchatting, tight jeans wearing, mustachioed stereotypes. We promise there's a lot more to millennials, and your small business can resonate with them. How do I know? Well, I'm Amy, your workplace millennial translator. Let me help you figure out what it is kids these days actually want and what they mean when they speak. I listen to music on its original medium. Michael Jackson, cassette tapes, The Doors, vinyl. I can't stand big box music streaming. It's so inauthentic. I highly value authenticity and personalized experience that is different from what the mainstream gets. Despite the fact that I'm looking at my smartphone as I talk, nostalgia actually has a special place in my heart and I really respond to it. Here's a tip. Millennials love brands that connect online and offline experiences. Being a small business doesn't mean you're at a disadvantage. In fact, because you don't have money to throw at the problem, you can make your experiences even more personalized and authentic. Oh my gosh, at last week's pop-up farmer's market, I totally found that fair trade, ethically sourced, hand ground and roasted coffee food truck run by refugees, and it was so bomb. Uh, before I drank it, I was like, I can't even. But afterwards, I totally good. I went to an outdoor grocery store this weekend and found that coffee I like. I like it because I'm highly motivated by humanitarian and environmental causes, and I like my purchasing power to reflect that. Not only that, but the coffee was very tasty and provided the necessary caffeine rush for me to be able to face the daily slog of everyday adult life. A tip. Brands with causes really draw in millennials. In fact, Deloitte's 2016 Millennial Survey found that 87% of millennials around the world think businesses should be measured in terms of more than just financial performance. So show that your business cause aligns with what you do. Do you follow the new darlings on Insta? She totes posted this gorge, handmade, Italian leather handbag that's made by nuns in the mountains, and I literally died. Do you follow some people on the social network Instagram? You find them by typing in their username or handle, New Darlings. A picture of a bag she posted to her feed was gorgeous, and I am swooning over the fact that I know who crafted it and that it was crafted with lots of care. I love knowing that real people are behind the work, investing creative energy and sweat equity, and then I figuratively died because I loved it so much. Next tip. Millennials love craft, quirk, and pluck, and they'll reward small businesses that show such qualities with their business. Also, they really respond to social media, and you have to make sure to get them on the right channels. Uh, please don't try to be cool. This one's a little tougher. Let me give it a try. As a millennial, my BS meter can identify a sales pitch a mile away, and it grates on my senses. Please just try to relate to me and let me buy when I'm ready, or else I will tune you out. Trying to be cool automatically makes you not cool, but if I think you're authentic, natural, and relatable, I'll think you're cool. How'd I do? Yeah. That means I did pretty good. And your tip? Don't be salesy or pushy. Just be straightforward, authentic, relatable, and informative. Millennials will make their decisions off of that. So tonight, my doula is hosting goat yoga. And I'm like, totes not sure if I want to go, but I feel like if I don't, I'm just going to have serious FOMO. I got this. Tonight, the woman who helped me birth my child but is not my doctor is hosting a session of yoga where she puts baby goats on top of you. I'm not sure I want to go because goat yoga is weird, but I have a fear of missing out. And your tip. Eventbrite found in a report that 69% of millennials experience FOMO and that 82% had attended a live event in the past year. That's more than older generations. But 72% say they want to spend more money on experiences and less on things. So the market out there for experiences is vast. Get out there. Remember, millennials are people, and while you may think of them as a bunch of kids, millennials are heading into their 30s, so they're full-blown adults, and ignoring them is not a viable business strategy. So if you want to market to them, you have to market like them. Carla, can you translate this into millennial for me? Toast. I'm practically ancient now, but I have a job, and I literally want to spend my money. But if you're not on Snapchat, I literally haven't heard of you. For way more information on connecting with millennials, download our ebook, Marketing to Millennials. What are kids into these days? 